some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Oregon at a traffic stop where a sovereign citizen has just been pulled over because he had no plate on the front of his vehicle, which is required in the state of Oregon. But this Savtar believes that the 14th Amendment grants him the rights not to travel without his plates. But this Oregon State Trooper is not going to have any of his nonsense, so he ends up arresting him in about five minutes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Could you identify yourself real sure. quick for me, please? Okay, listen. So, officer, so, what's your name? I'm Trooper Harris, Harris? the Oregon State Police. What's your number? So hear me out here. So, okay, my DPSC number is 5367. Thank you okay? so much. All right, now hear I can me prepare. out. All I'm stopping you for is because you don't have a front plate displayed on That's your vehicle. That's not illegal. Here in the state of Oregon, you're required it's to not. have a front my, plate. It's not. I have the right to okay. travel. It's my I'm 14th Amendment right. That with you here on the roadside. It's the you law. Go to court, it's the can... law. Sir. It's okay. the law. So you can't. You you, I'm exercising you. my right. Um, no. According to Oregon State Statutes, ORS 803-540, you are supposed to have plates on the front and back rear of your car. And, of course, if you're going to go into the driver's license issue, which you may, ORS 807-570, you are required to carry and present your license. Oh, yeah, and the 14th Amendment? Well, you're absolutely wrong on that one, too. Because that amendment is mostly about due process. It is the 10th Amendment that says that the states shall have the power to uh, create laws that are not covered by the Constitution. You're not really doing so great with this kind of thing, are you? Here in the state of Oregon, you got to carry and present. This is the law There's everywhere. No, this is the law everywhere. Present. This is my constitutional rights you're trying to stamp on right now. Okay. And I am not allowing that to happen. Okay. I know what the I know what my Can law I is. Talk and then I'll let you talk. That's all, it doesn't matter. I don't want to hear anything. To, I don't want to hear anything from you. Okay. I do not consent, dude, at okay. all. I'm sorry, officer, but you're gonna have to call for backup on this one because it is just a useless endeavor to argue with somebody who is this willfully ignorant. And I've got a question for him as well. Where the hell did he get his education in the Constitution? Did he get it from the Chile de Castro University? Well, if he did, then Chile should be proud of another idiot that he's produced for the world. Here in the state of Oregon, you have to carry and present a driver's license while you're driving on a public roadway. You do not have okay. to know that that is a lie. That is a lie. Okay. That is a lie. All right. So That is a lie. That is not true. You need to go and do your research. Go and figure out what law that you took an oath to uphold, and I am exercising my right as a United States citizen traveling in these lands as a traveler. Mm -hmm. I have every right to travel anywhere I want. Look it up, okay? Okay. I don't have to identify myself. I'm not breaking the law. I'm not doing anything so, wrong. Okay. <laughs> like, I know how this is going to end, okay? Well, now, I doubt your prediction will come true, because so far you've been striking out every single time, but let's see anyway. Exactly. I'm not doing anything so, wrong. Sir, listen, all it was going to be was a warning and an education that you need to put a front I don't, though. Vehicle, That's okay? the thing. I don't. So all I have to do I don't. is positively ID you? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm not giving you my ID. I didn't break any laws. <laughs> And then I can get no, out that's a lie. That's a lie. You need to look up your law. You need to look up your law, okay? You need to look up the law of the land. Momentarily, we will learn that this officer is no stranger to sovereign citizens, which is why he's calling for backup right now. 3519. Do you even know what right to travel is? You can. It's okay if you don't. Sir, I know there's lots of stuff on the internet. No, it's not the internet. It's your. It's your constitutional right okay. to travel. It says that I can travel with my possessions. With. I don't need to discuss it in court. It doesn't have to go any further than this right here. I know the law, and if you decide to violate that law, I will have your job. I'm telling you this. I will. And I will, dude, I'm Sir, telling this you. this is definitely not the first time I've been down this that, Okay, I think it is the first time. I think this is the first time you've ever heard of any kind of information like this. 
right to travel, okay? Your 13th Amendment, right? Says I can travel without without registration, license, without anything, with my own property. I have the right to travel as a United States American, dude. Like, look it up. It would be at this point that I would uh, ask for citations so I could check the accuracy of his work. But at this point, I think he's just getting all his BS off of Sovereign Citizen website anyway. So, But it's not really worth the hassle of doing that because I already can tell that, and we all can tell that uh, all of his information is just a bunch of bullshit. Like, I'm not, I'm not like sitting here trying to bust your balls, dude, but you're harassing me right now. I was going about my day trying to have breakfast, man. A warning. <laughs> For something that I don't need. It's crazy. You should probably look that up, though. And I'm just recording so, my, so I make sure I have copy for everything. <laughs> but you should look it up, right to travel though. You really should, before so you start me, Like I said, this has been about the 25th time I've gone down this road. So and why do you even, why are you, always, so why didn't you just say have a good same. day? Why didn't you just say have a good day then? I'm because not violating any, I'm not, exactly. I am not breaking the law. Positively ID you. You don't need to. Yes, you don't need to. You don't need to. I have a right, dude. Order, so you, you can just stop anybody and just tell them to ID themselves? You're lying. You said you could just stop anybody and tell them to ID themselves? Sure, this is a traffic stop. You're For what? I'm not doing anything break. illegal. You I know this. I'm not. You're not required to, you're not required, unless you're driving, unless you're driving for commerce. I'm not driving for commerce. I'm traveling, buddy. Like I said, sir, I've been down this road many times. Well, obviously you haven't because you're sitting here wasting my time and, and for violate, trying to We're violate my rights. wasting time, sir, because all I need to do is positively ID you and we can both go about our day. I'm not letting you positively ID me. Okay. I know my rights. Well, here in a second. We're going to figure that out. <laughs> I'm not driving under commerce. I'm not driving for cash. I'm, I'm traveling, dude. Hey, soft hard, you do have the right to travel. You just don't have the right to drive a vehicle without the proper registration, tag, or licenses. And right now you're harassing me. You need to ID yourself, brother. I know I don't, brother. Seriously, man. You guys aren't listening to me. Okay, so hear me out. You're going to arrest me for what? So listen. Go ahead. Hear I'll have your job. Pause, because I want this to go easy, okay? I do, too. I could be the you're gonna have, you're gonna assault, He's listen, about to assault me. Hey, you're about to. You're second. about to unlawfully arrest me. Sir, listen to me. Okay, give me thirty seconds, and then I'll let you give. I'll give you a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I give him ten seconds or less before he opens his mouth again. You just you wait and see. So right now, this is what's going to happen. I need to positively ID you. If I'm not able to do so, I can detain you and take you to jail, fingerprint you, positively ID you. For what? As soon as I know your identity. For what? Sure. I'm going to have you guys a job at the okay, end of this. Like I'll I go down said, to the jail. I'll go down there. I don't really care. You have to carry and present. I, no, I okay. don't, dude. No, okay. I, unless I'm breaking the law. I'm, I'm not breaking any laws. You can't just ask you're... me. You okay. can't just. I want sure. your supervisor here. Is there anything I'm asking to. I'm asking you to speak to your supervisor right now. I'm asking you. No, I'm asking to speak to your supervisor right now, and you have to let me do that. All right. So right now, okay, I'm having your job. I'm having your job, you guys. Let you know that I'm on my phone. Give me my phone. Hey, 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 hey. I'll get your phone in a second. I'm down. I'm okay. I'm fine. You guys are about to have your job taken from you. You guys are fucking violating every right that I have right now. Haha. <laughs> I got you. Don't even trip. What's your name? Could you please identify yourself, please? Sure. Sir. Yeah, yeah, my Steve phone. Josephine County Sheriff's Office. What's your number? Six zero 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 nine. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So, oh my God! <laughs> so you arrest me for what now? So what are you arresting me for? Well, now this soft tar turned what could have been a simple traffic stop into a failure to carry and present case. But you know these idiots they'll never learn. At any rate, I hope you liked the video. See you next time.